are now just four weeks away from Election Day 2020. But there is a good chance that we will not know who wins the race for the White House until several weeks after November 3rd. And that has some people looking back to the long battle that lingered after the election day 20 years ago. Tonight, Nikki Dementri looks at how history could repeat itself. When I say general election 2000, what comes to mind? What happened 20 years ago? Election debacle, I suppose, would be the the mostly polite way to put that. The fight for the presidency 20 years ago was one for the history books. Congress ending a topsy-turvy, bitter presidential race, the closest in 124 years. And that topsy-turvy race could happen again in 2020. Elections experts say there are several takeaways from what happened nationally. No matter how fast the technology, though, it's the absentee ballots that could really drag out the results. One being a potential repeat of Florida. The potential is, is absolutely there with so many absentee ballots being on the table this time around. Here in Western New York, the Erie County Board of Elections says 78,000 absentee ballots have been requested so far. And it's the same unprecedented demand for counties across the country. UB professor Jacob Nyheisel says 2000 taught us to pack our patients, which will be key once again this November. Given the potential, the very real possibility for very tightly contested races in any number of states that are going to draw uh, quite a bit of attention after the election. Another takeaway, investing in elections. Shortly after 2000, laws were passed to provide funding to local Board of Elections offices to train poll workers and buy new machines. The ability to, to invest in election infrastructure um, is something that we seem to have lost focus on because there hasn't been a Florida. And, you know, that was a one-time infusion of money. Nyheisel says the cautionary tale from 2000 lies in the party's actions. He says decisions parties made then and now might come back to haunt them down the road. There is the potential, of course, for a, a 2,000 times a few where there's going to be immense scrutiny. We're not going to know what happened there on election night. And it's going to be decided by various teams of lawyers determining how things should be counted. Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.